Hello. So, you know, as per usual, my do. <laughs> um, today is March 15th. And, um, I guess I'll be recording like my little mukbang for the day. So today I'm eating Taco Bell. I ordered a chalupa. Um, this is like a craving box or something. Chalupa with um, a five bean, lay a bean layer burrito. It came with chips and cheese. Dante's eating the chips. He likes the chips. And then I ordered the 12 pack of the cinnamon balls and what else did I get? Oh, and it's chicken quesadilla. Mm. And then I got the wall strawberry freeze um, drink or whatever. I literally fell asleep waiting for the food. Not that it took long. I came sooner than I thought because the Taco Bell is pretty far. It's just, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Both me and Guatu woke up kind of Like, um, like that worried kind of feeling, I guess. I don't know why. Um, but I woke up, I made him breakfast. I made breakfast for myself, made breakfast for Dante. I worked and I was just tired. I was actually working at cooking at the same time. I made some soup, but I don't know. I went to lay down and then I was watching Trisha Paytas. And she was eating Taco Bell, and I said, you know what, I want some Taco Bell. Because I wanted something else. I was honestly looking into Korean food, but the, they seemed pretty far, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend all that money on, on a plate that I wasn't sure if I was going to like. So, um, or something else too spicy. So I said, F it, I'll just get Taco Bell. I know what I want and all that stuff, so... I called Guatu because he's on his way to the job to pack for tomorrow. And um, I asked him if he wanted Taco Bell. He said yes. Yeah. So I ordered some Taco Bell. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. I have the chalupa. Oh, I also ordered. Wait a minute. Um, I feel like I'm missing something here. Chalupa. Back. Bun, taco, hmm. this is a hard taco, I'm missing, I'm actually missing a soft taco, I'm missing, or unless they gave me the hard taco. I think they just gave me a hard taco instead of a soft one. Anyway, no, because um, Guatu ordered a chicken quesadilla and a taco. Actually, no, he got crunchy taco. What the hell am I talking about? So my crunchy box came with the five bean layer, the chalupa, um, and I think mine was supposed to come with a taco. Matter of fact, I think this has two tacos in it. Who the hell knows? I don't know. I think I feel like I'm missing something, but anyway, I also ordered the um, I like these potatoes with cheese or whatever. I got this too, so let's see how that tastes. Those cinnamon balls. I, I went straight for it because I want it, and I'm I want to see how <laughs> I want to see how this tastes too. Mmm. Exactly what I was expecting. It's good. So yeah. So I was working and I made some soup. That's night I made mac and cheese for dances. So there was still some left over. So, but he didn't want it. So he probably eat it later. But I made him chicken nuggets as a snack. I know he's gonna drink the soup. He's not now, I guess. 
So yeah, I didn't do much today. Um, I was just on YouTube, like, catching up with some stuff. I didn't even know last night was the Grammys. Last night? I think so. Oh. So yeah. It's my day for today. I really should not be standing up and doing so much. Um but it's hard to not move around so much when you're pregnant and you're hungry all the freaking time. And then you have a, t a four year old that calls you for everything. I don't know. I mean, I'm fine right now. I was in pain though. Um, I guess because I cooked. I was in pain. The thing is that if I stand up too long or do too much activity at this point, it's hurting a lot. Um, I have to literally sit, lay down, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. If I, like, do too much, you know, it hurts a lot. I, I have a lot of um, pressure on my butt and my vagina. Um, last night was horrible. I'm so tired because last night, Dante slept with us. I gotta have him sleep on the freaking bed, man. Because <laughs> it makes it so uncomfortable. But he slept, and then the thing is that since it was kind of hot last night, he was moving a lot. And literally, he was like... His hand was in my face, and he was kicking my kicking me, not my stomach or anything, but like kicking and moving, moving everywhere. And um, yeah, so he was like, <laughs> all over the place. And then I also have obviously I have to get up to go to the bathroom, which I was doing that. And then I waking I was waking up because he's kicking me, and then I'm waking up because I have to turn from one side to the other. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough. I think like at least five or six times I would wake up in excruciating pain. Literally, my stomach felt super heavy. It felt super stiff and it felt like contractions, but I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was contractions, but it was horrible. Like, I don't know how many, I feel like I woke up at least six times last night just from the pain. And then, obviously, waking up every other time to use the bathroom, to move, to shift, whatever. It was it was just horrible. I hated it. Um, yeah, no. I um I officially put my Etsy shop in like vacation mode because I won't be able to do any items. The only thing that I left open on my Wicked Oils website are the oils, and it's because the oils are like super easy to make, like the blend and the Moon Aid, for example, which is what helps with the cramps. It's already prepared, so if anybody orders it, it's already done where Guatu can just put it in a package and then ship it off. And then with the oils, they're right next to me, so if I would make one, I could just make it. And then if I can't make it for whatever reason, Guatu can also help with that. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. So, supposedly we're, we're, we're going to be getting... Well, no, not supposedly. We already started getting, or people started getting their stimulus check. I haven't got mine yet. I know last time, um, it did take a few days. I think they sent it to, like, the people. I think they sent it to the people with kids. They sent it, like, a little after. So, so yeah. I don't know when I'm going to get it. Um, I guess. I appreciate the help and stuff, you know? Um, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like one of those people that are like dying, for, not dying for it in a bad way. There's nobody that really fucking need it. But there's some people that don't really need it and then they're crying about it anyway and stuff. 
Yeah, I'm talking about them. <laughs> not the people that don't, like, if you need it, you're not crying about it. You have an actual, you know, need for it. I'm just going to save it. That's what I've been doing. I've been saving it. But I am actually going to need it. What the fuck I'm talking shit for? <laughs> I'm going to actually need it because I'm going to go on maternity leave in a few weeks. I told my boss I was going to leave the first week of April. I was planning on staying longer, literally working till like maybe three days before my due date, which is April 28, 29, something like that. I forgot. But, um, because of the pain, because of the situation I'm in with the pregnancy and all that, I said I'm just gonna stay till the first, to the end of the first week, which is April 3rd, and that'll just be my last day, and then I'm gonna just go on maternity leave, like, you know what I mean, because, mm. There's this, um, new girl at my job, and she's supposed to be shadowing me. She was supposed to start today shadowing me, which basically means, like, she's just watching over or helping with what I do, so she knows, because she's going to be covering me. But she didn't start yet today. I'm kind of worried about that, because I have a huge caseload. Um, I think I'm the one with the most... Um, at between like the coordinators and the one with the biggest caseload that I know of and it worries me because um, there is a lot of work and she's new and I don't know um, I hope she's able to I mean obviously there's going to be the other girls that can help her and stuff but for the most part I would like for her to be able to do most of my work, I'm already, like, weird when it comes to other people doing my stuff. I, I don't like people touching my stuff. <laughs> I feel like, um, it, because the thing is that if something gets done wrong, it's going to follow me, regardless, unfortunately. So, I don't, I don't like when, if someone does something and then they mess up or maybe they do something but then they forget to tell me and then I'm, I look a damn fool and I don't do it properly or I don't um, continue with it or follow up with it or something like that, I'm going to get in trouble. And it happens, you know, it's a mistake, but at the end, I, I do get in trouble. So, it worries me because the thing is that um, I would like for her to try and do as much as what I do um, but I know there's going to be people helping her, and when you have too many hands working in the same thing, a lot of times something comes out fucked up, you know? Um, and it obviously would not be her fault, you know? It's just, I know how the pressure is at my job, because, you know, it's my caseload. <laughs> um, so I just, you know, I just hope that doesn't happen. It can be very stressful. So I just hope she's able to start with me soon. So she can get like a feel. Like a good feel. Of how it is. You know with my reports. And, and all this other stuff and whatnot. So yeah. And knowing me, while I'm on maternity leave, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have at least one of my co-workers hit me up about something, you know, with a question or whatever. Like, I already know it. And my dumbass is not going to be clocked in and I'm still going to be going into the website trying to help or something. <laughs> going into the computer and whatever. Horrible. I should not be doing that, but... Mm. So yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys for a bit because I haven't talked to you guys in a bit. I have been doing videos, but they're like um, shorter clips, I guess. Some of it is following the pregnancy from a certain point until now, and then other things are just little clips or whatever. 
So I'm just gonna upload this. Um, I'm not gonna edit it or anything. I'm gonna leave it like raw. Um, I am. I have projects lined up, but I was just waiting for something to come in because I delivered. I delivered. I ordered something because <clears throat> um, my computer is still not up, so I won't be able to fully edit the way I would want to. But I'm trying to see. How I can use the program in my little laptop. My little laptop doesn't have a lot of memory. So the program that I have in my desktop is too big. Um, so I'm going to see how I can try to manage this. Or I could even film the videos and edit it at my... Most likely edit it at my parents' house. Because my brother has this like nice uh, gamer computer. At least until I get mine because... He's helping me build a PC, and so I'm writing everything down. I'm taking down all these notes. I'm doing research and whatnot. He's helping me, and then we're going to be putting it together. I was thinking about just buying one, but he's saying it's cheaper. In a way, it's cheaper to build it because you might spend a little bit more building it, but you're going to have all the parts that you want and that you need, you know? I do want a computer. Like I want a computer that I can play my games in. Literally, I miss my Overwatch game, and I'm not gonna get the PS5 or the PS4 in in my house. Like I already have the Switch for Dante, and it's gonna stay like that because the Switch I got, we got it specifically so he could play his games, kid games. Okay, I don't like that. I'm hearing that he's playing uh, Call of Duty Zombies. You know what I'm saying? Um. I, I'm not into that. He doesn't play that game here with me. He plays with other people. I don't want to say because I don't want anybody to look bad. But, you know, I, he has his Mario Party and all that stuff. And I want to keep it that way. And then on my computer, then I'll play whatever the hell I want to play. So I want to play. I want to do. I want to play games. And then I also obviously want to edit videos and stuff like that. And um, edit photos. I also, uh, with the Concilio, how most of you know I'm in. I do, I'm like the secretary there. <laughs> I print out the flyers and all that stuff. So I do have ideas as to like creating new flyers and and whatnot. And, and I would like to kind of put those ideas up. And then I'm also putting worksheets together for my son. I have workbooks for him, but I would like to make worksheets for, uh, for you know, like for him to learn and stuff. I'm trying to teach him how to, how to write his name and all that. So it's a lot. It's just I need I need my computer. <laughs> I need a computer. So anyways, my brother's helping me build it. And if you guys have any ideas or have any advice as to building and, and all that stuff, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Tell me what I need. I know he told me I needed definitely I'm gonna need thermal paste. Thermal paste? Thermal paste and zip ties. Um, but I'm not going to order it yet because he kind of made it seem as if I have to keep it in a good stored area. Otherwise, maybe it will like dry up or something, which it would make sense. So I'm going to leave that. I made like an Amazon wish list. I'm going to leave my stuff there. And yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go. I don't want to make this video 20. It's already almost 20 minutes long. I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to catch up with you guys for a bit because I miss you guys. I know. I haven't seen you in a bit. I'm planning on making videos. Don't worry about it. I got the piece that I needed delivered. So I can definitely do a nice little setup. At least for now. And hopefully I can upload something by this weekend. Alright. I promise I'm going to do my very fucking best. To do my shit. It's just. With the pregnancy. It's been very hard. Even to catch up with items that I sell in my store. Like it's. It's really been like a roller coaster for me. <laughs> and I know Guatu wants to have more kids. I want to have more kids too. It's just, um, I don't know. It, it feels like it. Let me see how this ends. <laughs> because it's been, it's been really a roller coaster. And, um, I, I really hope I can have more kids after this. It's just, it's kind of been a little traumatic for me. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been stressful. Um, and then it doesn't help, you know, when there's people that are around you that shouldn't be around you because they're just not, they're not there to help. They're kind of there just to throw their bullshit on top of you. So I've been staying away from a lot of people for that reason. But yeah, um, I'm going to let you guys go.
I'm going to see you guys and speak to you guys very soon. Leave in the comments if you have, have any ideas as to videos. And leave it in the comments if you have any suggestions as to building a PC. It will be awesome. Um, and then I'm going to finish eating my food. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.